Okay, back for round one, game two. I think this is a pretty easy keep. Oops, uh, no, I will keep this. We have a bunch of two drops. We have give take, which is pretty sweet. Here we might just give. So let's new guild gate, that's fine. So it's possible I was passing to him. So the question is here, do we play Voice of Resurgence or Boros Mastiff or Crow Warrior? Or Keening Apparition. Um, so let's see, we get to get our two drop, two drop, two drop, two drop. That's pretty good. I guess in that case, I will probably play the Mastiff. Because it's the one I care least about. And they all attack equally well. Okay, so now, now I think I play Voice of Resurgence since if he has a trick and he uses it, I will get a token. Hmm, I think I just heard thunder. I don't know if that picked up on the mic or not. Um, he is not doing anything, so okay, we're back. Yeah, next turn we get to go Keening Apparition, Crow Warrior, or Blood Rush, Crow Warrior. Is this Bronze Beak again? I would go Guard Kirin. That's fine. Yeah, this guy's deck seems to be pretty slow, and I think we're abusing that. Oh, alright. Shadow Valley Denison. That's just fine. Elusive Crisis is uh, fine, but we don't have the Blue Mana to cast him yet. I guess I'm just going to bash with both. And if he double blocks, is it really worth blood rushing? Oh. Yeah, I'd say I think it's probably just worth playing both of my two drops now rather than saving this one and then saving the blood rush for later since this is already giving me a two for one. Sure. And uh, this guy. And this guy. Pass. Now if we draw a land, uh, I guess the best one would be like an island. But if we draw a land, we can give on something and then uh, also use Blood Rush as well. Abrupt Decay. Okay. I'm not sure why he decided to kill that one since he gives me a token. Interesting. Okay, has the snare squad. The Cloudfront Raptor, I guess, also fine. Um, Alright, so I guess we probably So I could just I could just give something. Um, or I could just play Scab Clan Charger. He has one card left in his hand. Um, I could just play Scab Clan Charger and then Bash, and he can't even block this one. That probably seems better than randomly Blood Rushing it. And thankfully he doesn't have double black to be able to activate his keyring yet, because a 2-2 death touch would be a tad annoying right now. Um, because of, for that reason I don't, now he does have the double black, yeah. So now I don't really want to throw give onto something, oh what is this, is this like Illuminate Primordial? That would be bad. No. Let's see, he has 7 mana. Yeah, if he plays Lemonade Primordial, I mean, like, we almost just have to sit back and wait for Blue Mana to be able to cast one of these guys. Nothing. And nothing. So, we could bash in with the team trading Kirun for this thing, which I don't really like. Uh, we could also just bash in with these three, trading the Kirun for something, and then he takes two. 
I guess that's fine. I kind of want to get the key run off the table before I use give take. He didn't even activate the key run here, which is fine. Then he just takes four. So I assume this is Luminate Primordial. Oh, Horncaller's Chant. That's better for me than Luminate Primordial for sure. A blue mana would be awesome here. Golgari Long Legs is also okay. Hmm. So I could put give on something. I think instead I just play the long legs and I pass. We don't really have, he has pretty good blocks if we just swing in with everything. This way, now we have a 5-5, five five, so we can't really get in with these profitably. And we could double block one with like this and Kane Apparition or something. I guess he could tap it down with has this nurse one. Uh, martial law is pretty fantastic, so we're just going to do that. And then pass. So he could uh, attack in with both of these. He has the key run up, though. So I think we can wait. And he is sufficiently flooded out. Right, uh, lock down right now, I suppose. Still no land, okay. Well, we could throw give on like this thing. Uh, this is all three counters on one, right? On target creature, yeah. Throw on one of these and make a five. If we put it on this, then it becomes a five, seven. And then we could bash in with this, this, and this. Not really doing much else right now, so that seems fine to me. So let's see, he's at six. Oh, actually, we can attack with the Crow Warrior and just pump it. Kind of like that more. Yeah, I'm just doing that. This guy and this guy. Okay, yeah, this is fine. So we get to eat all of his guys, so we'll just pump this up. And now he's in a pretty tough spot, because we have a martial law, and we have lethal damage on the board. Chromatic Lantern is nothing. So I think that's just game. Good fight is fine. So we are just going to pump this guy up. And smash. Okay, on to round two.